<clears throat> hey guys, it's Brennan. Thought I would have a uh, game on the five minute auto pairing here. And uh, this is going out to Farrell Saunders, Sanders, who requested that I do a video today. So I'm playing something I don't usually play here. Uh, this is the closed Spanish. And uh, c6, c3 is usually the move here to stop knight to a5. You know. Now castles, and h3 is pretty standard. Oh, he played d4 right away. I think I'm supposed to play this move. Yeah, now... What to do with this knight? I don't really know the theory here. I guess I'll play it sort of like a brayer. Or... Knight a5? Should I go knight a5 or knight to b8? Usually they play h3 to stop this bishop g4 stuff. So, uh... I'll go with knight a5, I guess. And when he plays uh, h3 at some point, I will move the bishop back to... Uh, back to d7. So my plan here is to play for c6 to try to put pressure on the center. And, uh, okay, he's playing a pretty quick a4. So threatening to not really do much. If he takes, that, I'll take with the a-pawn protecting the knight. Let's go back here. I don't want to give up this light square bishop yet. Hmm. This move I wasn't expecting. I don't understand what's going on here. This uh, is a beast sack. <laughs> I don't know. He just sacked a knight for, for a pawn there. I have no idea why. Now this this is a passed pawn, but I think I can just even put the bishop on this diagonal here with tempo now. And, uh, okay, he's maybe got ideas of bishop here, but I can play knight f8 in that case, I think. And, uh, In the meantime, maybe I can play here, and maybe bishop to c5 to try to put pressure on the pawn. Knight f8 will also put pressure on the pawn. So protecting myself here. Also, I can use a king to h8. I'm sorry about the, this thing keeping up coming here. So now my rook is opposite his rook. His rook is undefended. So he has to be careful about where he moves the queen. For example, queen d2. I can play knight here, attacking the queen and the rook. So, yeah. Maybe I think about king to h8 at some point, just to get the bishop out of there, and then take on d6 with the queen. I'll just move the uh, king out of the pin so that I'm attacking the bishop. Also could have just played queen takes d6 there. Maybe I can do that now. So he's really going uh, <clears throat> very aggressively for my king here. Maybe it'll work. My, de my defense is not great. <clears throat> okay, I guess he wants to trade rooks. But this does give my knight a very nice square, so I'm okay with that. So now he has to deal with this bishop. So I'm playing somebody named Konar. Uh, yeah, he's got some pressure here. 
Can I play bishop to d8? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe here? Just defend and then push g6? Or bishop d8? Yeah, I'm trying to get to move bishop d8 in. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, he's attacking my my bishop now. So if I defend uh what to do here? I'll just defend the bishop. You can take on on here. Oh, I'm also threatening this uh, this check, picking up the rook. That would be nice. So he can't really take here because I'll have bishop to f2 check picking up his rook. Check. Oops, the queen is guarding it. That was not good. Check. But at least I'll get this bishop back. So I'm still. Uh, up a piece here. Now I'll take this pawn. So I did come out of this up a piece. This doesn't bother me too much. I'll trade the rooks now if he allows. Okay. So I'm just going to go into this end game a piece up here. I do have to watch my time. He doesn't even have a pawn for it. So, yeah. we'll see if I can pull this off. My pieces are nicely protecting each other. This knight is very nice protecting the square here. So let me just get my king in. Uh, maybe on the dark squares. If he takes this, I'll just recapture. sure what to do here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try to get my bishop to, to here. Hit G, G here to put pressure on this point. And, uh, okay, so he's giving me something here. Maybe the dark squares? Nope. Uh, put pressure on this pawn here. I just have to kind of play quickly. Let's get this knight into here. To put more pressure on the pawn. And here. Jeez, this guy doesn't quit, huh? And uh, I'm low on time. This position should be winning. If I do this, try to get some trades. Would be nice. I'm going to have to play a little quickly here, so bear with me. hate playing. This is why I don't like five minutes chess. I really dislike playing this kind of game because I'm obviously winning this game, but I'm going to lose it on time because my opponent's just playing random moves, random checks.
well, I managed to get the draw in time, but this is this is really the reason that I don't like playing five minute chess. Because this game was totally winning for me, obviously just a piece up, and your opponent just throws stuff around to get you know to try to get the win on time. This <sighs> I mean, all right, whatever. I, I, I'm not going to say anything about that. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed that game, and uh, we will see you next time.